Hello, my name is Dirk Schimpa, and I'm going to be walking you through a general overview of practice ERP. So today's problem that we're seeing in many CPA firms is there's, uh, we hear this over and over again, there, there are just too many disparate systems. And what does that mean? Uh, a lot of times, uh, definitely CCH, we see XCM for workflow, um, you know, ABLE or Salesforce or no CRM at all, um, QuickBooks for accounting, and uh, analytics is, you know, either in Excel spreadsheets or, you know, Power BI or something outside. Um, and with all these separate systems, you know, uh, there's lots of uh, Excel spreadsheets all around trying to maintain stuff, dual entry everywhere. Uh, inefficiency, lots of spreadsheets, like I said before, poor reporting, you know, and just, you know, generally some outdated systems. So, you know, in this world, right, anytime you have these separate systems, uh, there's manual work in between them all, um, re-entering information into multiple systems, trying to connect stuff, uh, imports and exports. Well, what we do with Practice ERP is we basically bring all of this into one data source, one solution for your CRM and client management, uh, for your task and workflow, uh, time whip and billing, and even finance and GL and, and analytics, all is in one solution. So, and it's role-based. We have specific roles for, um, you know, partners, staff accountants, uh, firm administrators, sales reps, your internal controllers, uh, clients can log in, uh, and so on and so forth. So again, uh, with Practice ERP, we take the, the ERP concept and we're bringing it to CPA firms. So let's talk a little bit more about it in detail. Um, our solution, as you can see on the right-hand side, it, it is an all-in-one solution on a cloud-based platform. Uh, it includes CRM, client management, task and workflow automation, uh, time and expenses uh, that flow into WIP and billing that automatically hit your GL, um, financials, banking, AP, and, and in the end, uh, the, this whole uh, very robust business intelligence uh, sits on top of everything. It is role-based, like I said before. So there's roles for managing partner CEOs. There's roles for your general partners, um, tax and audit managers, tax audit and CAS, staff accountants, task flow and firm admins, billing and AR admins, your internal CF controller, salesperson, uh, so on and so forth. And a little bit kind of talk about the process, right? Uh, you know, with Practice ERP, we have marketing. You can do email marketing. You can uh, track leads and prospects, referral partners, uh, so on and so forth. You can kind of do pipeline reporting, get to a signed engagement and a new client. Uh, from there, uh, you know, you would create projects, whether it's tax work, audit work, uh, CAS work, you know, advisory, uh, any of those things. You create projects, assign resourcing and staff. Uh, and that staff is going to go do the work, um, you know, move projects from one step to the next. And as they're doing this, uh, you know, they, they'll be entering time or timers. They'll be submitting time, expense reports, client fees, um, and all of those, you know, turn into a, a WIP transaction. Uh, from there, uh, we have a very automated process to, to handle your, your daily or your regular write up, write down of WIP, generate very clean, nice, professional looking invoices that then can be emailed out uh, from Practice ERP and your client can just click on a link and pay uh, via either credit card or ACH right from the email. Uh, and again, all of that hits the GL financials and analytics. So lots of, uh, it is mobile based, uh, you know, comes, you know, can use on any browsers. Um, you can look at analytics and reporting via mobile, uh, comes with literally hundreds of dashboards, reports, and other safe searches. And again, just a, another visual view of, of some of the uh, mobileness uh, with Practice ERP. So let's actually jump into the solution here. So I'm gonna switch over here and, 
Uh, we're going to log into Practice ERP. A couple things I will call out. Uh, you will see the uh, paddle lock and uh, the HTTPS basically denotes the same level of security as online banking or putting in your credit card on Amazon.com. Uh, when you log in, you log in with your email and password. And when you first log in, you actually land on what we call the My Workspace, which I'll, I'll talk to here in just a second. Um, it's basically like the home page. Uh, but and Practice ERP, like I said, is role based. So we have different roles for you know staff accountants. Uh, we have different roles for you know your managers, uh, your partners, um, billing and AR, uh, front desk logistics. Uh, you know, whoever's in charge of the employees and setting them up and maintaining your employees. And then task flow admin. So let me jump into task flow admin. Uh, so here with task flow admin, um, a couple things I will call out. Uh, you know, I can um, global search any, any customer here. I can look at like my recent records or I could, you know, maybe I'll type in 3D uh, medical. And um, so, so I can I can global search and I can type in maybe like three V medical, and this will bring up you know you can put in a, a, a client's name, uh, a contact. Uh, invoice number, basically anything. It's like global search uh, for your uh, practice management system. Uh, if I click here, I open in view. If I click here, I open in edit. And if I click here, I open up what is actually called a, a client dashboard. Uh, and again, we will be doing uh, much deeper dives on various dashboards within practice ERP, uh, including um, uh, the client dashboards, the partner dashboards, um, so on and so forth. So this is an example of the client dashboard. Um, we also have various templates uh, that come shipped right with Practice ERP. So basically on day one, uh, you can have different projects uh, and project types for maybe your 1099s, uh, maybe assurance, maybe CAS financials, uh, or even your tax returns. So these, um, the way our task flow works is uh, can completely be configured uh, to you and your firm and how you operate. But uh, basically you can define your steps uh, and it will automatically move those projects and those tasks from, from basically resource to resource. So just a high level and we'll be doing, uh, there'll be other demos uh, on task flow in, in a lot more detail. So let's so that's a little bit about task flow and the clients. Um, from here, I'm going to actually log in as a staff accountant for tax. And again, this is a high level overview. Uh, basically, we have this concept of my workspace. And just so you can understand, everybody in the firm has a my workspace. Um, they can, you know, enter time, view time, expense reports, uh, look at projects that are assigned to them you know, do today, overdue, this week, next week, maybe tasks. Um, we have the concept of checklists within check, within tasks. Uh, bulk updates, I can move tasks in, in a bulk fashion from maybe me to someone else. And budgeting, we have um, the ability to do not financial budgets, but employee budgets. And the purpose of this is so I can see how am I doing last week, this week, this month to date, or this year to date to goal. So again, rather than having a, a manager or a partner, you know, really having to kind of, um, I guess, you know, so the purpose of uh, the, the my budget is, is so a team member can self-manage themselves against goal versus having uh, an employee or a manager, you know, have to, you know, more or less hound them um, constantly to, to make sure they're hitting goal. Um, so let's talk about, you know, and, and a, an end user doesn't typically work too much off of the menu. They really work off of the My, my Workspace itself. So you can see here, we 
Um, I can see if I got overdue projects, what's due today, this week, next week. Maybe I wanna open up some recent records. Maybe I need to click and open up my time. Um, maybe I got some notes I need to, to look at or review. Um, how am I doing against um, my budget? Uh, here are the projects. So this is probably the most important portlet. Uh, what this highlights is, um, you know, here's my workload. This is what's on my desk. This is how many days this particular project or task has been on my desk. Um, I can also look at overall projects um, as well. Uh, a couple things you'll also notice is we highlight um, A and B clients. So again, in the concept of limited resources, uh, you know, I should probably be working on my A client stuff before I work on my Bs. Um, so again, this is my active projects. Maybe I want to kind of open this particular project up. I can see some client information here. Um, you know, the date it was last moved, you know, how many days it's supposed to be on my desk. Um, here's some notes here as well. Um, here's the various tasks. I can see if, if, you know, what my actual versus budget is, how am I doing on different tasks. But in the end, you know, I, I basically opened up this project to work on it. So I can start a timer, view my time, enter time right from here. Or if, if I'm done with this, I can um, go to update status and I can move this project, uh, you know, to the next resource. Um, and it would automatically know, uh, you know, who to uh, move that to. So again, uh, we will be doing, uh, we have other demos where we do a much deeper dive into My Workspace, but just so you get a sense of uh, the, the My Workspace. And again, as, as work um, comes to my desk, I basically hit this little refresh and then my, my count, you know, um, will it increase as I finish projects? Uh, it, it decreases. So again, this is a very efficient way to see what's on my my workload. All right. So that's a little bit about a uh, tax uh, staff accountant. I'm going to log in now as a manager. And again, as a manager, I uh, guess what I, I have to. I am a producer. I have budgets. I have goals. Um, I have projects that come to my desk. Um, you know, I should also probably be prioritizing my A and B clients over my C and D clients. Um, um, but you'll see we start to open up some additional information where I also have a book of business as a manager. So I can see not for me, but my book of business, if, if there's overdue projects, what projects are due today, um, you know, maybe there's some things I can do with my team to, to help them get these projects through. Here's the time against my book of business. Here's the sales, how that's trending for my book of business. Um, uh, I can look at my aged whip. That's, you know, greater than 60 days for my book of business. My total overall projects, my aged AR for my book of business. Um, and, and, you know, basically my sales this year versus last year. How am I doing? Uh, this year for last year for, again, my book of business. And then this just a little more detail on, on you know, overdue projects and, you know, who they're assigned to. Um, here's open whip that I have the, the highest dollar to the lowest. Uh, and then, you know, open AR. So maybe I can go make a few phone calls and try to collect on some open whip. Um, I'm, as a manager, I may or may not have a team, but definitely as a partner, uh, I do have a team. So now I'm logged in as a partner and you'll see things are just kind of going to continue to grow and evolve here. So I have on my workspace as a partner, I'm a producer, I have a budget, I have projects, I have, um, you know, tasks and projects that come to my desk that I, I need to work on, enter time and move them forward. So that whole concept of my workspace is throughout the solution. Um, I definitely have a book of business. But more likely than not, I also have a team that rolls up to me. So I can see how my team is doing uh, this week to date against goal. Um, who missed on my team? Who missed goal last week? Uh, who's missing it, you know, this month, this year to date? Who on my team has overdue projects? Um, year to date, how's, how is my team graphically looking towards, you know, against budget? So. 
you know, we can see Ashley is down, but, um, you know, Grace is really killing it. And then, you know, even whip and realization. So here's my team members, highest to lowest that are, um, uh, you know, are, 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 you know, mo the most highly realized. Um, you can also see all sorts of reports, you know, time reports, utilization reports, open whip reports, so on and so forth. So that's a little bit about my team. And then firm analytics. So let's talk about firm analytics. Um, so with firm analytics, uh, this is a more macro view of my firm. So again, I can look at you know, time and utilization, you know, maybe by by department manager or by line of business, or maybe I can look at open whip, see which partners have the, the highest whip or which partners have or which managers have the most whip. Maybe I want to look at realization, you know, which partners book of business is the highest realized or managers or what service lines are the highest realized. Um, and, and again, I can look, you know, Here's my A and B clients that have overdue projects. Here's my, um, uh, if I look at my firm wide, you know, 24% of our, our revenue is coming from individual tax, 19 from CAS, uh, 19 from business tax, assurance is six. And I could also just change this and look at this in, in the dollars as well. So lots of ways to kind of graphically look at your data. Um, here's my clients with the highest sales. Uh, here's my clients with the highest AR balances. So I, here's some of the collections that I need to do. If I scroll back up, again, I can look at open whip by partner to see which partners have the, the most open whip over 60, which partners have the most AR over 60, um, how's you know sales running, um, again, employee missed budgets, how's our, my sales trending month over month, and then realization by partner. So here's you know, Terry's book of business is the highest realized, where Tara is, you know, down, her book of business is down, you know, lower. And then again, monthly AR trends. So lots of data um, and analytics. And again, this is the value of having one system uh, for basically everything for your practice and operations. And then just to take this one step further, then, uh, then we do have a, a billing and AR role. Um, and from a billing and AR role, we definitely have the process where we can, um, you know, easily write up, uh, write down WIP, create an invoice that's super clean, uh, and then we can email that link out. Uh, we have the ability to, you know, generate statements or um, also, um, you know, invoice, uh, invoice uh, email invoices out and get them paid uh, right from a click either via ACH or credit card. And I guess the last piece I would talk through is then around back to the task flow admin role. Um, there's all sorts of oversight, you know, basically projects that are overdue, uh, stuff that hasn't moved in three days or seven days, different reports, you know, statuses by manager, by, by partner. So lots of kind of oversight reports as well. So at a high level, that's, this is practice ERP. It is an all-in-one total comprehensive solution to manage uh, your CPA firm and its practice. Uh, so let me just jump back to um, the last page here. And if you wanna learn more, we definitely have additional videos where we do uh, deeper dives into the partner role. We do deeper dives into the manager role. We talk specifically about you know key dashboards and analytics that come uh, with Practice ERP. Uh, we, we have other videos that talk about task flow and admin uh, roles. So, you know, please uh, feel free to reach out to uh, us directly or our website, and uh, we would love to uh, talk with you more. Thank you very much.